Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're so glad to have you as a listener. Today's topic is Delightful Obedience. We'll be right back with a brief message from our sponsor. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com or call 800-996-9969. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com. Delightful Obedience, written by Laura Bailey, read by Laura Bailey. Well then, am I suggesting that the law of God is sinful? Of course not. It was the law that showed me my sin. I would never have known that coveting is wrong if the law had not said, you must not covet. Romans 7, 7, NLT. Like most teenagers, the last thing I wanted to do was clean my room before I could go out with my friends. Within minutes of rolling out of bed, a chore list was promptly placed in my hands. But what annoyed me most about my mother's list was the smiley face she always put on the end. I routinely ripped the smiley face off the bottom of the page and proceeded to tear the paper into itty bitty shreds. Yes, I embodied the example of obligatory, unjoyful, self-seeking obedience. Fortunately, when I'm greeted with a task at work, asked to volunteer in the nursery, or simply clean the house, I can outwardly control my dissatisfaction but inwardly my eyes roll, my feet stomp, and I begrudgingly complete the tour. I recently finished a Bible study on the Ten Commandments. The author encouraged us to obey God's word joyfully. As we moved through the various laws, each one convicting and challenging, I realized I often obey out of obligation instead of delight. My Christian walk had become a task list. Just another thing, a benchmark of validation that at least I'm better than, or not not as bad as, her. I began to wonder, am I capable of delightfully obeying God's word? I'm wondering if you can relate. Has your Christian walk become a task list or benchmark you use to seek validation? Do you find yourself excusing a lousy attitude by comparing yourself to others who seem worse off than you? And when the Spirit finally convicts your forced obedience, do you wonder if you are even capable of serving with joy? While God's holiness does elicit our obedience, we miss the mark when we obey outwardly, but inwardly rebel. God's intention when giving us the law is essential to consider before forcing ourselves to comply when we lack the understanding to do so with joy. As Paul points out in Romans 7-7, The law is meant to expose our sin and highlight our desperate need for a Savior. Paul reminds readers that the law is holy and pleasing and intended for our benefit. And its intention was for our benefit. It is through understanding what God requires of us and the knowledge that, on our own, we are not capable of perfectly keeping the law. God's law helps reveal to us the ways we sin against a holy God. We all enter the world as sinners. Yet the law shows us our continued desire to sin and rebel against God's commandments. Now that we've discussed the bad news, let's get to the good news. Humans can't perfectly keep the law, but we still have an opportunity for redemption. The realization of our depravity has paved the way for our redemption. Through Jesus' death and resurrection, we can receive salvation through faith. And that's not all. This salvation also provides those who believe with the gift of the Holy Spirit who helps them in their weakness. Romans 8, 25-27 I lost my delight in keeping God's law because I neglected to remember the message of the gospel. Our commitment to God's authority is an outward expression of faith resulting from our response to His mercy and grace. Mercy means He didn't give us what we deserve and grace means He has given us much more than we could ever merit. We can joyfully submit to the will of the Father 
not out of duty or obligation, but out of gratitude and love for his gracious gift of forgiveness of sin and eternal life. Even with the power of the Holy Spirit, delightful obedience is a daily struggle. Paul shares with us the internal conflict we face as Christians, doing what we know we shouldn't and not doing what we know we should. Romans 7, 15 through 20. But through sanctification, each day we can choose delightful obedience as we fill our minds with the scriptures, live in the Christian community, and prayerfully ask God to conform our will to His. Intersecting Faith and Life The scriptures tell us the importance of our heart's motives. We can do all the right things for the wrong reasons. Take some time today and examine your motivations for serving the Lord. Ask God to help you delight in keeping His commands. For further reading, check out Psalm 19, 7 through 12, or Romans chapter 7. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com or call 800-996-9969.